We're here at the Working Waterfront Festival in downtown New Bedford, where they're actually giving tours of a typical scalloper. We're going to go on the Elizabeth and Nikki. Let's check it out. Very fascinating. Uh, why are you having this open tour today? Uh, actually, the city of New Bedford, uh, they called that captain and uh, they asked us to do this tour uh, since we were already at the dock. So uh, he said, OK, so now me, the captain and one of the deckhands are here. Well, I know a lot of people from New Bedford that have probably never been on a scalloper before. This is the number one fishing port in the United States. What do you think is the biggest misconception about a scalloper as far as what you guys actually do out at sea? Yeah, uh, the job itself, I mean, we work um, we work about six hours uh, every every 12. Um, it's hard work. I mean, to come down, you have to, there's a usually a pile on deck. You pick the pile, and then you're in the box cutting. Um, it's it's pretty grueling. It's pretty physical, and you have to be mentally um, mentally prepared uh, just for for being away from the house for our, uh, seven to fourteen days. It's it's actually pretty grueling, you know. All right, let's take a look at the uh, sleeping quarters over here on this scalloper. This is very typical of a fishing boat here in New Bedford. And if you look over here, looks like there's some things back here just for storage. And on the other side, we have another sleeping cabin. Very, very typical of a New Bedford fishing boat. Over here, an area to chat and probably eat. How is it that New Bedford is the number one fishing port? Oh, we have the best fishermen. Um, uh, we, we have a lot of a lot of working boats, a lot of working people. Uh, nobody over here is afraid to work, and uh, we have a lot of Portuguese people that are are really uh, in, tied into the water and uh, love the water. All of our fishermen we're really good with the water, and uh, it's just a way of life. All right, we're here with uh, fisherman Roy Branco. He's the captain of a scalloper here down in New Bedford. Uh, tell me a little bit about how long you've been involved in fishing. Uh, I've been doing it already for 17 years. How difficult is it to be a fisherman? It's a very, very difficult profession. Scalloping industry is all about speed. It's how fast you can get these dredges on the deck, how fast the scallops you know, fall on deck, how fast you can get the, your gear back in the water fishing, and then once that's done these guys come out the crew comes out on deck and it's all about speed the momentum takes over it's all about picking as fast as you can once the scallops are all picked in baskets they go to their scallop shoots uh we have and then speed takes over it's who's the champ at cutting who's the fastest you don't want to be the weakest link yeah how does this equipment work of course you see it right now it's standing up but when it's actually on the ocean bottom it's laying down this part right here drags on the ocean bottom scallops come in through there fills the bag you know if it's a decent catch then once the bag is pretty much halfway or a quarter of the way which about it takes about an hour average then you bring them back up you dump them and you start the process over and over again and speed that's the thing speed's right? number one key in this industry you got to be fast to get a job if you're not fast you might as well not even look around here <laughs> on the count of three ready one two three Okay, guys, cheer them on. These guys, you've got to understand something. They're going fast. The other guy has to trust his partner so he doesn't squeeze his finger. It hurts like hell, believe me. With Giovanni on the bridge, he's going to explain to us exactly what happens up here. Yeah, so over here, you have all these different controls. You have a couple of GPSs, a couple of radios. Uh, basically, this is the gearbox here. Uh, you basically give it a little bit of power. And uh, this computer will tell you where you are at all times, along with this, these two GPSs. And most of the time, when you're up here uh, during your your six hours of uh, of watch, you're usually cutting scallops in this shucking box. If you want to go look uh, in this cutting box, you have you bring up some scallops, you shuck, and they have this radar up here where you usually tell where you are, the speed you're doing, your location, and over, again, there's another radar. So basically, if you lose speed, you you stop cutting. And you go back and you, you give it a little bit more power, and that's basically what goes on in the wheelhouse. The captain usually sits in this chair, uh, actually just on the way out, because during, during the trip, he usually is always working alongside the mate when on the way out. Uh, he usually sits in this chair about six hours at a time. Uh, but like I said, when, when we're working, there's usually no sitting. 